Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have Lily here with me today. And we're gonna be doing like a little like story time on how we met and we're gonna be baking as well, so. The first question, Kai asked us questions about how we met or our relationship. We met when we were super young. Should I show them no, the no. picture? No, no. They all wanna get we personal, were... right? Okay, fine, you can show them the picture. Okay. Okay. We're skin the <laughs> We went to, like I said, we grew up together. Yes. And then, um, from there, it was basically like, uh, we went to the same school district and stuff. And then we didn't really get close till we were in high school, honestly. Yes, but we did a little um, event together in school. And then our family has a picture of both of us. Yeah, like in, I think it was preschool, huh? I think or was so, it yeah. Like first Maybe that's why we probably don't remember, you know? Yeah, let me say I don't remember, but we have pictures. Yes. And you're like, what? When she said this to me, I was like, it was literally a picture of me with a banana on my head. I was like, what? Bananas on our heads. I have I a lot of pictures with a lot of people that my parents used to take a picture. Like, he used, they just used to take pictures. And then I look back and I'm like, I know this person. <laughs> but then I see them on, on like, senior year. Yeah, and it was crazy because it was like, what? But we honestly did get close to like eighth, wait, no, like ninth grade. Ninth grade for sure. So we got close um in ninth grade, and then we did like I think you did soccer for like a bit, huh? And like you were like our manager or something, or no? I don't know. Was I the manager? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember either, to be honest. But um, I know I like just, we did soccer together. I remember being in the middle, the midfield. Oh, so yeah. You see. <laughs> But I don't remember being a manager, so I don't think oh, that's it. I don't think that's it. Next question. That's what we're doing. They love the picture with the bananas. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just so funny. Why did you guys become friends? Oh, so we're going there. So basically, like, oh, yeah. okay. So we got close in like ninth grade, and then. Like if you guys know us, like you guys know we were like together all the time. It was like me, her, and then we had one other friend. And we were always Jen like- Jen Posado, what happened with Jen Posado? <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> but like, yeah, so it was basically me, um, Lily, and we had a friend named Jen, right? Jen Posado. <laughs> Stop. Okay, but anyways, um, we would always do everything together and then it was like, we got super, 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 super duper close in like ten, like sophomore year, huh? Yeah, like I don't remember. Did I say something funny? I don't know because if you know us, like, it was like dumb and dumber. I think it's the other way around. Dumb and dumber. Dumb and <laughs> <laughs> we were just so crazy in high school. Like, we just did so much. We were up to so much. And like, we were bad in school. It's just like, we we didn't really like school. We just hated, like, we just had to go out of obligation because we had to go. And now we're in the military. Yeah. Oh, let me see. Let me tell them how. I mean, let me show them how it looks like right now. <laughs> it smells really good. We did everything together. Oh, we had gym together too, and it was just like so much drama in high school. It was so crazy. But and we did um, cheerleading yeah, together. Yeah, so then senior year we did cheerleading together. I got her into cheerleading, and we were like doing cheerleading together. It was like one of the funniest things like we probably ever done. And from there, like of course we went to prom together, and then we graduated. And I don't know if you guys know this, but we weren't supposed to graduate. Like me and Lily were not supposed to graduate. No. Because we were we were going we were going down bad for real. I think everybody thought that we would we did we were, probably like really good. See your nose, Liliana. <laughs> Tell us that story. Okay, we're going there. We are getting there. Jen got dragged down by like five. Damn, we're going there. No, that too. was me. No, that was me. Jen got dragged down. No. No, yes, huh? I did. Um, no, not that. Oh, that With that. The crazy girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> One time though, the five girls was me. And then I think Jen was playing and then Lily uh, jumped in. <laughs> Story time to another qu another um, question that our um, okay, wait, fellow friends wait, over there. Wait, we're not there yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Yo, this video is like all over, but this is literally my life every day. Okay, anyways, um, so we graduated high school. I think we fucked up. Look how it looks like we're done. I told you, I told you, dumb and dumber right here. I think we're supposed to do it right there. So, no. How did we mess this we up? We definitely can't multitask, as you can tell. <laughs> as you can see, I thought we knew what we were doing. Maybe not. 
Mm. You think this will taste good regardless? Mm. I, I think like so. It would. <laughs> <laughs> Pass up a box. Oh. Do you have the dog speak right now? <laughs> I don't know what sense that makes. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to flip the camera. <laughs> You what gotta you think at? big goofy! You gotta flip the whole camera! <laughs> Don't put that in the video, please. Stay in your lane! So glasses on, that's what you need to do. Okay, then pass me my glasses, damn. Uh, you have, they're on your head. Oh. <laughs> Strike two. So, then after high school we graduated and I was working at Duncan and she was working at Duncan and then um, from there, it's like every night so we were in, it was basically like um we were like go out to like parties and we were like go drink and stuff like that right and then like there was this one time when i left my house i always told my parents where i was going and who i was going with right just so like if something ever happened like they knew like i was at a party or like i was with this person or whatever right i had strict parents so though. yes lily on the other hand we couldn't really like she couldn't really tell her parents because they were kind of more on the stricter end so I would sneak out. So yeah, we would sneak out. And there was this one night, right? It, um, like, I literally have it on video. It's so funny. Her dad literally came to Domino's because I would always like pick her up at night. And her dad came to Domino's because he called my mom. Cause my, uh, like, like I said, my mom knew where I was at because she had my location. So I couldn't like really lie to her of like who I was going out with and stuff like that. So um, her dad literally pulled up to Domino's and we were like just there like, I don't remember who the other person was, but I do remember Kevin. So yeah, we very embarrassing though. Like, but uh, then okay from now. that, we you would think like we learned from that experience. No, we went to a Halloween party like literally right before I shipped out to boot camp, and we went with like my cousin's um, boyfriend, and we went for like some other friends, and we went with Joe. Before we even got there, we were kind of already like, ooh, because we were, like because it we was in North Salem. The car. Yeah, that shit was in North Salem, and North Salem is like forty five minutes from our house. Okay, and from there. Um, like we was like lit, we were so lit, and then we got to the party, and then the party was whack, right? But we were like drinking. It so was whack, but I don't remember anything. I only yes. remember being there for like twenty minutes. So and I remember I was like gone. we have a video, and I remember like we were like in the bathroom, we were taking videos like in the mirror. Like, we didn't, like yeah, I, she showed me those, and I didn't remember anything. Oh, well, I remember everything. We have like pictures together. We have everything, right? But but at the same time, I was chugging. I was chugging off the bottles. So and like we were like at the party, right? And then it, we were like all inside because it was like in a little basement, I think. And then um, we were like, "Where's Lily at?" And then all you hear is like people like running up to us, and it was like, um, "Like your friend, she's outside. She fell. She fell in the concrete. She's bleeding." So we go outside, and then we she's like on a red truck, and it was Kenny's truck. And then we were like, damn. And then we were like, what happened? What happened? And then she's just like walking down, like holding her nose. And she like freaking broke her nose. Like she was like Some drunk and like, fracture. yeah, she like fell on the concrete and broke her nose. Oh, she like, um, cause we didn't want, she didn't want to go to the hospital. I remember that. Do you remember that or no? Mm hmm So she did not want to no, go. No, no, you didn't, scared. you didn't want me to go to the hospital because you said that we're about to go to the military. It was because she, her parents didn't know we were at a party 45 minutes away from that my house. That too, that too. Because I was just going to lie and say that, like, you know, I got into a fight or something. Okay. I don't know how to So we're putting the cookies in the oven now. Um, how long are you putting them in there? Probably like 12 minutes. 12 minutes? Okay. ASMR. No. Moral of the story. Moral of the story. Listen to your kids. Don't get too f***ed up. Yeah. When you're far away from home. We didn't even know where we were. So we did cheerleading in high school. But we got kicked out. <laughs> Why we got kicked out? Because we were having bad grades. But that's yeah. not good. Because I regret it now. Really? Yeah, because... Could have done better in school. Huh? No. You don't even like school. <laughs> yeah, but what if I got like a um, scholarship or something? I wouldn't be in the military. I got a scholarship and I still didn't care. Oh, but was it full paid? Mm -hmm. Really? That's not it. They kicked us out. And they were like, please get good grades so we can have you all back because we were the flyers. We were really small. And we never did. 
But our parents still thought that we were. Oh my god! And she was like, I don't, she lying to y'all. She would, she would what's it called? Not say anything to her parents. Okay, yes, that that's true. Cause they would think we were at cheer practice and we would not be at cheer practice. No. We would. Be. Don't worry about all that. Yeah, what was all that? No. Chill for it. We'll be chilling. No, we will be out. We'll be out and about. <laughs> <laughs> we was though. <laughs> they would think we would be at cheer practice, and then like, I don't even know how, what we would do, huh? Like, cause my mom had my location, so I'm so. So yeah, we would lie that we were at cheer practice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! When we worked at Dunkin', we would say we were part of the closing shift. Do you remember that? We were part of the closing shift in the Tyrese and like um Douglas and. So we would go. We would go to where would we go? To the Nutty, Nutty Run every other day. And then we would like take turns yeah. driving. It would be like me driving one day or Tyrese picking us up the other day. And, like we would just go. We would be out. But it was just like we weren't really doing anything. We were just drinking. Did we do anything else? We just joined the military. Yeah, we joined the military. Now we're here. I've been in for almost three years. And you've been in for three years already. What's your experience? Like, what would you say? Like, I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about Honestly, I'm telling you, like, we could both, everyone in this room right now, we're all in the military. We could speak on it, right? It's just, you make so much better money out in the civilian world, honestly, because we don't get paid nothing. And when, like, the recruiters are, like, talking to you, they're trying to, like, gaslight you and everything, and it's just, like, they tell you all these things, and you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Like, as a senior, as a junior in high school, you, you don't know any better than that. And you're like, oh, my God, I'm gonna go to Dubai, or oh, my God, I'm gonna go to freaking Spain for free. But... They don't tell you like the living conditions. They don't tell you like everything that comes with actually being in the military, especially the Navy, because it's not worth it. Let me tell you. Honestly, I kind of have it really good right now with my command. My um, like my chain is really really supportive. Like they are. Well, I've only had really known them as of right now because it's I've been there for three years. But I'm just you, it's a hit or miss, honestly. Me, I think I've had like an okay experience, like. I don't know, I feel like the beginning was good. I mean, sometimes you'll have good days and bad days, but, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's just work. It's not worth me. it. It is, it's just, it is work. It depends literally what you do in the military, right? You just don't get paid enough. Yeah, you don't. It's just, you're better off like actually getting like to pursue a career out, outside the military, if that makes sense. I have story time that might interest them. Me and her have gone into a fight. Oh my God. It was just one. But it was really dumb. So now that we, so you do some dumb in high school, right? And now that you think about it for real, like you have time to like process everything you've like done did in high school. It's just so stupid. Like we were dumb. So basically, she was fighting somebody. But I don't know what happened to her. She just was. I don't even know. Oh. And so then I got in, and then other people got involved. I remember is Gordy's like grabbing. People off of us. I forgot why we even went. So now that I think about it, it's just so stupid. Like, I'm pretty sure anyone that's gotten in a high school fight just thinks back at it and be like, "That was so dumb." dumb. Guys' favorite music. Okay, ready? Let's see. If we we have um, what's it called? Sister? What's the thing she called? Have um. If we say the same artist, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Bad, Bad bunny. bunny. <laughs> okay, ready? Um, so wait, okay, wait. One, two, three. Rosalia. Oh, I was gonna say that. I was like, no, Rosalia. Okay. That was my, actually, no. All right, third one. One, two, three. Carol G. <laughs> okay, she next question. She's a mama's girl. Let me tell y'all, like, she for real is mommy's girl. Let me show them how it looks like. Three brown. Yeah, give me that. And they ended up being cookies because oh, we messed up. But they smell good either way. So we're just gonna let it cool for like five minutes, so. Yep. My thing right now has been Filipino food. I love Filipino food. It's a Mexican, it's all. Oh yeah, their Mexican food is good. I really like Mexican food. Like, I've had pozole. I think my favorite dish though is probably like adobo. Adobo. Adobo is really good. I don't think you've ever had that because it's really spicy. Mm. Wow. 
What are your plans after getting out of the military? Oh, my plans? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's basically to get into um, studying, get into a college. Um, I don't know what I want to study yet, though. Maybe like dentist or... What was the other one that I said? <laughs> oh, you said like dentist or like orthodontist? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I start school in two weeks. IT and stuff like that is where the money's at. So that's literally what I'm trying to get myself into. I have to do it for me and I have to do it for my daughter. Basically. Everything I, now that I'm doing is literally because I'm thinking about Layla. So I just want to make sure she's set and that we're not struggling financially. And give her like the life I always wish I had growing up. So, <laughs> we need to break the cycle. We are currently planning to move back to New York. But that is subject to change depending. Of course, like job opportunities and stuff, especially since Eric, he's already in the IT field, so he's been working that um, over a year now, so. Mm -hmm. It's literally where the money's at, so. The little camera died, but. Mm -hmm. They're so good. What do you guys give the cookies? A rate. A rating of the cookies. They both give it a 10 out of 10. Going back. Bro, this Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. So, me and Lily will be in town. What's one advice you would give anyone watching this right now that's trying to join the military? Um, definitely do your research. Um, if you don't like being on ships, the, the Navy is not for you. Maybe do something else. I hear a lot of people like the Air Force, so I don't know. Maybe see what every branch has to like offer you. And yeah. Don't just do it like... Impulsive, impulsive decision. There you go. Don't do it. My advice to anyone that's trying to join the military is please get informed. Reach out to someone that's been in for a couple years. Like us. Like, I mean, maybe Lily, because she's been on an actual ship. Like, she's actually lived a ship life. I haven't truly discovered that side of the Navy yet. But I know. Well, thankfully, I won't have to because I'm not going on a ship. She's not staying in. I don't know if I'm staying in or not yet. Um, so far, it's been okay, you know. I think I like it more than she does. But... I feel like if you want to join the military, it's very like it's very good for someone who is trying to get away, escape like a certain type of lifestyles and stuff because it yeah. really truly is like a culture shock. Like you are gonna have to be not like you're literally gonna be ran by the military. Like there there is really like no like doing everything on your type of time anymore. It's on their timing. That's true. And if you are like willing to make that sacrifice and like be away from family and stuff like that then maybe the military is for you but especially me having a family and having a ki having a kid it's very hard like i wouldn't be able to see myself leaving my daughter and i know a lot of people do it in the military i don't know how they do it but i give them like I i'm very like mm, i don't know because i can't i cannot see myself leaving my daughter and no money in the world is gonna make me want to leave her or leave you know it just doesn't make sense but I know some people are going to have to do it because they don't have any other option. They're they're better off in the military than out in the civilian world. And that's understandable. So if that's you, then just make sure you do your research before you actually join. Like she said, like I feel like the Air Force is truly the best branch that you could join. And I don't know, just just think. Mm -hmm. It was literally just don't let any, like the bonuses right now, like, don't let that gaslight you into joining. Like I know $8,000 bonus, like lure you into being part of the military you know and take that from us like we are keeping it very honey with you right now like, yep i feel like you should really be like you should understand that after you join the military like for us to go home it's not just a simple process like we gotta make sure we tell them the dates um we gotta request put a request shit up and it has to get approved by like five people. To join the military, it's no longer whatever you want. It's whatever they want when they want yes. it. That's during their time, they don't care if you you're can't having just a baby. Yeah, up and leave. they don't. They don't care if you're going through the hardest moment of your life. They don't care, and it's so sad because 
I know you guys see the news and stuff like that. It truly is so sad. And the way that they're living, like, I literally walked into her ship yesterday. And I was like, damn, like, I'm so glad. Like, I was on a ship, but not for a long time. But I said, I don't ever see myself doing this. But having a family and having a loved one is just very hard. Yeah, that's another thing. It is very hard to um, leave a family behind. And build, and build a family is very hard in the military. Especially yes. if you were male to male. Eric and I were male to male for like two, three years. Being male to male was very, very hard. But now he's a civilian. So he's literally living his best life out in the civilian world. And that's why I'm, I literally plan on getting out. But I don't know. Things could change. Literally, like maybe our uh, like financial status could change. And then that, of course, going to make me want to stay in so I can make sure I have a paycheck on the 1st and 15th. Yeah, just make sure you do your research. Make sure you, if you have any questions, just please reach out to any of us that are currently serving or, you know, have been serving for a while now. Mm -hmm. And we'll make sure you're set. And we'll tell you, we'll keep it 100 with you. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching our video. I hope you guys like a little like chit chat, get to know us, everything. It was kind of all over the place, but I'm really glad you stayed to this part if you made it this far. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to be doing another video soon. So stay tuned stay tuned make sure you subscribe we're like 24 subscribers away from our giveaway so make sure you send my account or share this video with your friends so they can watch this subscribe to our channel and we're also going to be putting out like what we think we're giving away in a couple of days so make sure you are stay tuned for that so with that being mm -hmm. said this is jen and that's lily and we are out bye